the Golf needs a new lower suspension arm as apparently these rubbers in there are perished I've already jacked the car up made sure it's secure and taken the wheel off I've already done the other side so the tools you'll need are a 16 millimeter socket 18 millimeter socket 18 millimeter spanner T25 Torx a beating tool a small crowbar maybe some mole grips maybe not and a ball joint splitter there's only actually four bolts there's the ball joint in there that's at 18 there's a nut and a bolt there they're 18 millimeter there's a bolt back in there that's 18 millimeter and that there which is 16 millimeter the torques mine's got this big plastic cover on so I'm just going to use the torques to take off this screw so that I can move that plastic out the way if I need to just make it easier for the spanner in there's plenty of videos of people d taking these off on YouTube but they all always seem to come off easily or they're in a mechanics workshop with the car up on a ramp and they've got all the special hydraulic tools and everything but if like me you've got to do it at the side of the road in front of your house on a rusty old car then things don't work out according to plan I put that there now you see that it will give me access to that nut there which I think is 18 Yeah. Can I get the socket on it? I did spray these with WD-40 Yeah, that's better, okay The first thing I'm going to do is just loosen the nuts to make sure that there's nothing I'm going to break or anything before I take it apart If you've got a big breaker bar, then this is going to be as easy as pie, but I don't. These are the tools I've got.
I might be able to see. The nut is spinning too on the top, which is what you need the 18 mil spanner for to put it on that nut to prevent it from spinning. And again, the videos on YouTube, we've all got those swan neck spanners, but I don't. So I've somehow got to get this on the top. Be better if I put the camera down and we'll come back to it. Point this up so you can at least see me struggling. Because you watch YouTube videos and things are done beautifully and simply and everything goes according to plan and then you go and do it yourself and it doesn't work. Now we need the 16 millimeter on this. Be very careful because this twangs up. It's probably better actually to jack it up so this is level and then bring it off the jack. So I'll just do that. All right, I've turned the wheel and I raised it up on the jack so it's horizontal because this is under tension I mean it could still twang when I take it off but what can you do Okay, I've got that nice. So yeah, jack this up so it's level. Now I have to undo the ball joint, which is there. That's 18, I think. Now, when I did the other side, this nut, there's not enough space for the nut to come off. It, so I had to
bring it up as high as it would go, then split the ball joint. But that caused problems, which I'll explain later if I can get this off. It seems a bit stiff. I'll pause the video and beat this off with a hammer. So I'll continue. I always worry that this nut is going to round off. But this is where the problem is, because it's that seized on that it spins the actual ball joint instead of coming off the shaft. Which is what the mole grips were for, to try and grip the thread so I can get the bolt off. We'll see what happens with this one. I'll pause the video because you don't need to see me unbolting a nut. Okay, as you can see, this nut gets very close to the CV gator. So it'll only go up so far it won't actually come off. And I don't want to damage the CV rubber. So I think that's as high as it's going to go. And you can see the thread there. Now once I broke the ball joint, that thread was spinning with the bolt, with the nut, instead of the nut unscrewing. So that's what the mole grips were for, to try and grip that. So anyway, let's get, to, get the ball joint splitter on it. Now will the nut turn or the whole shaft? Yeah, the whole shaft is turning, look, you can see it. So I have to try and grip it with the mole grips. And there's a rubber. I may have to turn the wheel and go from the other side. So this is the problem you might encounter. I had to put mole grips around the shaft of the C of the ball joint as it was just spinning instead of undoing the nut. Uh, this is something you're going to have to take into consideration if you're doing this yourself, you could get stuck. But I think this is undoing. It seems to be getting looser. But if I tighten, uh, yes, I think it's definitely coming off. Yes, it is. The ball joint splitter is one of those tools that 
that you don't want to buy, but they are lifesavers. Because without that, I wouldn't have been able to have done this. But if you watch the video I did on the Renault Megane, they were different, the way the ball joints are fitted were different and they came off easy. Just depends on the car. Right, that is off. So we move the wheel out of the way and we'll have a look. Groups had to go round there because when I was undoing them up, once I'd split the ball joint, this whole thing was spinning. Now I'm trying to undo the knot this whole lot was turning like that. So the mole grips had to go on there to grip that so that that could then undo the nut. So beware that is a problem you could run into. But now that's off Fully remove this and the other side, so let's get that done. This bit of plastic came down, so that was a bonus. Don't know where this clip's gone there. Unlike the other side, I couldn't get the socket in, the oil sump's in the way. just had to take years with the 18 mil but it's out almost there you go again if you look at them again I had to take there was a big bar going across here and then the front member what's the state of that that looks fine not cracked or perished or anything. Looks like I've got a bit of an oil leak somewhere. Right. This side needs to come off now. I'd half done this before, so it's just. You want the nut off the top, the bolt comes out. Now this should be ready to come off. I don't know if it's rusted in. That's the rubber that it failed the MOT on and it does look a bit wiggly. The other side seems to have rusted in. There's the beating tool.
can't get any tools in. I suppose if it was. level it might come out easier. The other side came out a bit easier than this. If I'll wiggle it out you don't want to watch this. do need a beating tool you know you've got to show these cars who's in control This is why your car needs to be really secure because you've got a lot of wiggling and bashing and beating to do and you don't want your car falling on you. hanging on by a matches. But this is what happens when you try it yourself, you see. I haven't got a workshop with lathes and blow torches and hydraulic tools. I'll pause it again, man. That's the rubber it failed the MOT on. I can push it with my fingers a bit. A new one. Solid. This rubber looks a bit perished as well. And the ball joints ruins now. So, let's see if we can get this on.
it really needs to go on flat vertical horizontal but it means got to get the ball joint in the ball joint in just there this end I'm gonna put its bolt in while it's still a bit loose and I'm able to wiggle I do not want to cross thread any of these Bolt on the ball joint to stop it slacking down.
hats on. Put that on loose. Now I'm going to jack up this arm so it's level for me to get that bolt in. So that this should be nice and aligned. It needs to go up a bit more. That was 16 millimeter. this piece again get this lined up and positioned that could probably require some more beating off the jack you really could do with a friend forwards of the hole.
probably not the best way to do it. In. Now I'll try and get the nut on the top. Well, I've got the nut on. Tighten it up. see this closing up I think that just needs a good tightening don't want to risk snapping it though so that's gonna do I'm gonna trust that Tighten up this side. The socket fits now, it's gone in a bit. This bolt on the old ball joint was 18 millimeter. On this new one, I've bought it's 19. I'll tighten that up. So, that's it all up, all tight, all done.